Hello and welcome to the Brick Freak. Today we are building something from the company Super 18K. Yes, out of the Technician series, the Shelby GT500. Yes, some of my viewers ask me if I can do it and I do it. We have the K135, is a model, uh, set number, model number, set number. Okay. I have nothing about it, I've seen nothing about it, I knew it's a, a stolen mock. I don't know from who, so check always in every video before asking something or writing a comment. Check the video description, perhaps it's already there. So in the video description there will be the link to the set and to the stolen mock, if it's a stolen mock or official mock, but well, I don't think it's an official mock, so okay. It looks very decent. It looks very decent. Okay, this is a sticker sheet, not too much, can live with it. Some uh, instructions for the, the RC, but I tell you in the beginning, this is not the RC version. I didn't want it. We have 14 building steps and the rest here is the typical Go Bricks instructions. Yes, okay. It's nice that the instruction seems to be very useful for both static and power functions. Super 18K uses Go Bricks pieces like Mold King, so we should have no issues with the clutch power or everything else. Okay, the tires looks good, the rims in gold, I don't think so. But hey, I will sell the set anyway after the, uh, the review. And so perhaps the new user or owner, not user, owner, buy better looking rims than this. Then we have four bags for the building step one. And these are for all building steps. Here we have two length, one length pin axle, uh, two length pin axle, half Technic pins in red, two length Technic pins in black, and pin hole, pin, everything black for the whole set. Okay, I'm really bummed for this because it's looking cool, and I hope the recommendation from my viewers to buy these is a good one. Now what you see is building step one without the servo motor. It normally sits here. You see this here for the servo and then it goes directly here onto the wheel. So here we have steering. Or is it? Was it servo? Yes, I will. Yes, it was a servo. Of course. So this is the look from underneath. It's a very straight build. Really. You see how far we are building step one and we already have steering and front axle with suspension, a very hard suspension. So this is straightforward. Very nice to build. No problems at all, everything works smooth. Now building step two and it brought us mostly yeah, room in the width. Now we get a little idea of the measures of this thing here. That's really a big one. That's the look from underneath. Four of the big panels, two of the small. Yes, and this is a pleasure to build too. It's very stable and sturdy. This here is connected to nothing at the moment. But really stable and sturdy. Here we have system bricks, or the possibility to connect system bricks. We will see. Next building step brings us. What is it? Uh, oh, the motor block, yes, over here. So 
more fiddly things. So building step three brought us here, massive structure and the V8. The V8 is done to the here back axle and here via chain to the Yes, here are 16 1 by 2 by 2 third slopes and transparent on it if somebody needs them. Here you get 16 of it. So, okay. Ah, uh, now, okay. Yes, everything works fine and smooth. Great, okay. Building step 4 brings us here the, the front. I hope the dishwasher dishwasher is quiet now in the German take. <laughs> he was <laughs> going crazy. Okay, this here is building step four. Nothing special part of the front lip here. It's nicely made with the slopes. It's very stable and sturdy like everything in the set. No fancy building techniques. Really straight and solid everything here. It's absolutely nice. Building step 5 will uh, finish here, the front part, then we assemble it to the rest of the car. And in building step 7, oh man, it looks like you've been building the rear axle. Okay. So 4 and 5 are done and the front of the car is finished and it looks astonishing, really cool. Really, really, really cool. The snake, I don't know if you see it. I know it's a little bit dark here on the building table. But I'm a lazy bastard. I don't want to put on, bring all the lights here when I build. Because it's our dining table and my family will hate me if I... You know what I mean. Okay. A look from behind. So four and five together here, the front part was really entertaining because we have a, a little bit more fancy building techniques to get all the angles and it looks really cool. So this was at the moment my favorite part, four and five, the front part, great. The rest is cool, solid carpenter technique, uh, solid. And here a little bit fancy. So building step six. And this set is really different because you be the build the front part and all the panels nearly for the front part. Normally you build the front axle, back axle, put it together and then you bring all the, the accessories and details around. This set is a little bit different. Building step six was really fun again. Sometimes you have to look closer. If you really sometimes you don't know, or you don't see exactly um, where the parts have to be to assembled. Normally it's logic, so you have no problems, but for uh, people who only assemble after LEGO instructions, here you have to look a little bit closer. Building techniques here for this this here as stabilization and everything is really cool. Makes a lot of fun. Cool again, here the snake. The tubes here have the, the right length. You don't have to cut them. Normally or often you have to cut them from Chinese suppliers, not here. So overall, it's with every building step, it's getting more fun. I enjoyed four, five and six so really incredible. Cool, cool set. I know I said this in every take, but it's a really cool set. Building step seven, half time, and this was very solid, really. It's great. These two lift arms here, the black, with 90 degree angle, these two have missed in the building step. Uh, luckily, 
I had enough of Technic in my cellar, so no problem at all. Um, oh, this is this is not so soft going. Here you see that turns well. Ah. One of the differentials wasn't good and at the beginning. <laughs> but I believe it. So it's not motorized, it makes no, no problem. But it's strange how this here always turns and this here not even when I turn it, yeah, then everything's fine. Perhaps it's a little bit too much pressure on it. Still not turning. Okay. <laughs> strange. Very strange. Okay. Oh, great and solid. Really. This is massive and a lot of fun to build. I, w I was... I was really surprised. This is basic, but it, it makes a lot of fun. Oh, it brought us here massive more frames. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three of the long ones and three of the smaller ones. Then we got here the back of the car. Nice with the angles. It's nicely made, really. A pleasure to build, still a pleasure to build. And I believe it will be when nothing is coming in the way. This is one of the perhaps five best Technic cars I have assembled. And I've assembled a lot of Technic cars. So, back of the car, and I married front and back. And it was easy because it's only at the moment connected here at the bottom plate with only one axle and eight pins or something like that. So that's easy manageable. Not like the Bugatti where you have four or five axles, push everything together and the pins. No, great, great. And a really nice, smooth, cool looking bag. Yeah, I'm a little bit in a hurry, because uh, <laughs> I have no battery. <laughs> and after loading, I don't know what I wanted to tell you. So I'm a little bit in a hurry. Okay, this was a great building step again. Sorry that I'm so, and, uh, so enthusiastic, but this set is so great. Really, it was so much fun to assemble this here again. The techniques, the stability, Here's everything right. So building step 10 is done. And in the beginning mostly is to assemble the three motors. They are sitting here, each stacked together. And because we have static version, this space is empty. Okay, normally here the motors. This is new to bring stabilization with the ground plate and the rear of the car. The uh, steering wheel, this here is new, this here is new, the rear lights are new, and the, uh, the, the info screen here that's normally made with a sticker, I haven't applied it. Okay, one thing, I don't know if I, if I made a mistake or there is a mistake in the instructions. Here, the steering wheel, I couldn't connect it because I had a three length axle in and nothing looked out. So I changed the three length axle here with the four length and now it works. Um, but I don't know, is it a mistake in the instruction or did I uh, assemble the three length axle wrong so I don't know if you're buying this car take care here and another great thing I mourned about a lot of missing pieces there was a bag a hidden bag 
with all the missing pieces. So nothing's missing, everything is fine and great. And building step 11 brings us here, it looks like the cover for the rear suspension and, and the axle to put it on top of it. Okay. So building step 11 brought us two wonderful seats. There are really a lot of parts, I believe 70 or 80 pieces with the pins for, for one seat. That's a lot of pieces. They are really stable and really cool. Uh, here we have again the snake. Then we have here the cardan tunnel cover and yeah, there's nothing in it. And this here is obviously just for that it looks cool. Uh, oh, oh man. Steering got okay, and a really, really solid back cover here. That's really massive. Like the rest of the car, it's really stable. So okay, that was only the these here. I expected to fall them apart, but the rest here is really sturdy. This is just what falls apart. It hangs only on a half Technic pin, but the rest, man, this is solid work. Well, this is the look from behind with the engine cover. Uh, uh, yeah, not the engine cover, the trunk. <laughs> engine uh, on the shell is in the front. <laughs> not like most supercars in the back. Okay, uh, here I believe I have a mistake something because on this side it stands a little bit more up than here. I check this again. And the other thing here, it's nice and a very, very, very solid roof. It's not only the panels, underneath are two layers of Technic beams. So this is very solid and very sturdy. But I have to check here again, because normally there is a small robot arm uh, that connects between the red and the black here. And we can bring on the snake, that the snake is looking this way. But the arm is too short. So I'm sure something is, isn't all right here. I have to check this again. So building step 13, yes, one more. Um, I got here it better done. Still no chance to get a snake uh, out here. I have to improve later on when I'm finished with the rest. If I find the solution, then we have very stable doors really thick and solid, they are not wobbling, they are absolutely okay. And here we have the sideline, the mud guards. This here you can push to the angle you want. So yes, basically <laughs> we, are, we are finished. We only need the hood and the tires. Well, after 10, 8 to 10 hours, depends on your tempo. and. If you're filming or not, <laughs> here it's done. Assembled this here and the front hood. And I have here a pin inside that the front is really pinned down. Uh, if I do not a pin in here, it stands a little bit higher. So I decided to make a pin in here. Um, all the functions lifting here the hood, lifting the, the spoiler and driving and doors and perhaps the stickers, I don't know. I show you in the review. I show you in the review. But I want to show you this here so far. Okay. Thank you for watching. The rest, everything in the review. And you see there the car with the golden rims and the tires, I promise. Uh, here perhaps a little bit. Okay, thank you for watching. Have a good time and I catch you in the review. You